Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm Tom and welcome for this uh, guide to Eric Rune King. So this will be a 100% playthrough and we're going to do everything. But before before we start, let's uh, enjoy the, the cinematic. All right, so as I was saying, welcome to uh, this channel. We're going to do the Rune King in Herrick, and this will be a 100% playthrough. So I've already completed the game once in her on Herrick, uh, doing everything I could, and now I'm going to do it again for the purpose of the guide. So let's actually start a new game and check the settings first. Let's see. Oh, I'm not changing that. Alright, everything is maxed out. Cool. Alright, cool. So let's uh, let's start the, the game. Eric, of course. Monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. 
I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heralds. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Isles. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So if you've already played the game or are thinking about starting uh, the game in a heroic, I think the game is not too hard, but there are a lot to there is a lot that can go wrong, especially in the beginning, where the game is actually hard and you it's have not quiet from much to play around. If only I didn't know better. Good morning, Captain. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? We didn't have a care yeah, in the world. Be pirates. Now look at us. Taking appointments, attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true, but when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate. And the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. So, uh, as I was saying, as uh, yeah, about about the, the cutscenes and cinematics, I I prefer to not speak too much during them to maybe let uh, people who don't want to play the game but just watch the playthrough enjoy it, enjoy the story and the and the interactions. But yeah, that that's my uh, that's my first uh, video guide, so it might might change on the future. We'll see. So as I was as I was saying, the the game in Herrick is pretty hard i'd say especially in the beginning where you don't have many tools to to do to, to actually survive um oh by the way about surviving oh yeah no no menu from for now and another cutscene so let uh, let's see that got the bullets in my chest. Killing Gangplank wasn't enough, Rathen. But you beat him. You're still breathing. And he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. Uh, what was it? Oh, by the way, there are, there's a chest here. Um, I will, uh, th this will be a 100% playthrough, so we will get every chest, every side missions, every, um, like everything we can do, really, so don't worry about that. I'll mention everything important, at least, uh, so we can get them along the way. 
Oh, can't go there yet. So I guess this is the first battle and we have the two chests we can get for now. So let's uh, let's go into the, the first battle of the game. About the, the battle system, it's turn-based RPG. I see you've been doing so What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. That Guess is not, not too girly. Seems how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I t Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you, my fleet and all of my men, or else... <sighs> Misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen. All right. Where Time I'm to get into it looks serious like business. Bill's water is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. So much for diplomacy. <laughs> you know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy it. So first thing first, uh, we're gonna speed the battle with the right bumper oh, after the tutorial. Best, right? I got it. Thank you. Cool. So I'm guessing you you will just like read the tutorial by yourself. When there, because there are two enemies there, we just want to use double up to hit them both with the with the debuff, and then we can just kill them in one hit with, uh, with this. Maybe it's not enough to kill. We'll see. All right, this is enough, and we can do it again. So don't worry about mana uh, for now. It's not very important. That we won't miss any. Now this is the, like, the first boss, I guess. Yeah, it's it's ex ex explaining about mana and surcharge. Well, I mean. Um, Overpower, I guess it's called. Cool. Overcharge. Yeah, 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 I don't want to use potion right now. So, Misfortune is applying a buff that you can actually see under the level of the enemy. And then it can empower the next uh, attack depending on the skill you use. So, right now he is debuffed. Now I'm doing a lot of damage. And I guess maybe this should be. Even on the barrack. I'll consider this your formal surrender. The syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die. As you wish. I see. How about you boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorne. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. The Anything rest of is... you, welcome to my crew. There are a lot Prove of yourselves treasures loyal and you'll be room, but you can't access them yet. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. So yeah, we can't we can't get the treasure treasures yet. We will have to come back later. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns. But none of their leaders. Not yet. 
Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune. All right, we're almost done with the intro, guys. Almost. Just that quick part, and we are out of the misfortune intro. Rathen. So the game is teaching you about the lane switching thing, which is like taking more time or less time to powerful or not so powerful actions basically at least for now but for for the for the intro you just want to apply the debuff uh, as i told you to do uh, on, in the previous fight and just make it explode with this ability you know? it's not too hard it's enough to take down like pretty much everything anything Black mist. How is this possible? All right. So we still don't have the menu. I should know. Uh, we don't have any treasures to take because I took pretty much every everything I could uh, before that. So a few market scenes and non-avoidable uh, fights. And they're they're actually much more difficult than the last one and, and the boss fight mostly because you have to really avoid the poison thing on the lanes uh, just below that and you have to prior to, to do prior target uh, yeah to avoid dying so I, I'm going to apply the debuff and kill one and then do the same for the other with trying to avoid the poison thing as much as I can uh, I didn't do that, but you, sh you should be able to do that. Oh, I'm killing the little guy first because he's, he's applying like a, a lot of debuffs, which can be annoying. Probably dead if I don't heal there. Yeah. So with Heroic, you don't want to risk too much because you can actually get game over pretty easily. And especially in the beginning, like I was saying earlier. There you can just wait in outside of the zones, the hazard zones, and engage combat to avoid having to deal with the poison during the battle. There is. There, we have one more battle here, and uh, oh yeah, still no menu, but you can access the potions if you need them with the, with the right uh, pattern. Alright, so there, do this, and even though he's not like engaging battle, he will be hit when the battle starts. This is like kind of a bug, so yeah, we, oh no, he's not beating out. Never mind. I think I, I did that earlier, but maybe not. Alright, so there we want to avoid the poison, the poison thing, and we want to kill the little, little guy first. Alright, 
Oh, it's not enough. I don't know why. Oh, that's the mark, I think. Alright, never mind. You don't have to do this battle, I think. You can just not enter the room and you won't have to do, to do it, but... Well, why, why not? And there is the Raffin. one of the last battles of the, the intro. Run! Leave me! Two dogs, I think, or rats, or I don't know. And the poison hazard zone. Okay, so I I don't think the the tap debuff will stay long enough for me to profit it. We'll see. We'll try. So they both have the debuff now. I'll try to kill one first and see if the debuff remains on the other guy. There, he has no debuff anymore. Alright. This wraps up the intro. Sarah, I came out of nowhere. I couldn't. Don't talk. Save your strength. I thought we beat those things in Grey Harbor. Could it be another harrowing? I don't know. But if it is, we're going to need help. We're going to need a Maui. Nice, nice, nice. So now, here's our Brothers second and sisters, character. A new enemy has risen in Bilgewater. The goddess Nagakaboros has shown him to me. Reveal him to us, truth bearer. This Blood Harbor Ripper butchers men in their homes and in the streets. I can sense the fear, the stagnation he brings. We honor the Mother Serpent by restoring motion and driving him out. Praise the Goddess. Truth better. I wish to fight for you. I am ready. Are you? If you fight with everything you have, the Mother Serpent may name you worthy. If not, she will take your life. I surrender to her will. Unworthy. He is strong, priestess. He may live. Perhaps, if the Goddess wills it. Come, our enemy awaits. These streets are full of motion. Nagakaboros smiles upon us. Why do you embrace these foreigners, priestess? The Pelangi do not respect the Goddess. Or brew tradition. They make their own way. They fight to live. Walk among them. Learn from them. Maybe even have some fun. They have many interesting desires. Okay. <laughs> Sister, <laughs> I have seen you indulge in their taverns. Do not be ashamed. Next time I will join you. Now let us follow the rhythms of the street. That's uh, one of the guy in Priestess, right? Here, the men inside spoke recently of the killer we seek. We will wait outside. No need to get Pelangi stink on us. 
<laughs> More for me then. Alright, so we have Ilaoi now and we don't have Miss Fortune anymore right now. She's actually a tank slash healer and damage healer, I guess. We she, she can do pretty much anything. Um, but she's not the best at everything, I, I guess. She, she's a good character, I, I, I will I will say that. So we actually have access to the menu now and I'm playing with the collector's edition. If you don't, that's fine, you don't have to. Uh, the game is... Uh, I, it doesn't change much, but since I have them, I will equip, equip the the items that give uh, gold, e XP, and uh, the Poro Idol, which gives a bit more health and attack power. Uh, I also have access, and maybe you do have access to this uh, potion pack, which is always welcome. Once again, if you don't, that's fine. You, you'll, you'll see I, I won't use much of it. Um, and we can actually do a bit of exploration before continuing the story. So about this playthrough and my, my playstyle, I should maybe uh, say a bit, a bit more of uh, information. Uh, we will do so er every side quest and, and stuff like i said and we will max characters we will max everything we can uh and actually in this game because as you might have noticed it's uh, it's quite buggy you have um, you have a few exploits or glitch to do to make your run like really smooth and uh, and uh, like be Overpowered really soon. Really, yeah, Little really man. soon. Tell me, where can I find the blood hub? Who's asking? I am Ilaoi, truth bearer of Ladakaboros, champion of the Buru people. <laughs> sure, lady. And I'm the River King, Tom Kench. Buzz off, I'm trying to relax. Perhaps a display of strength will change your mind. So. I try not to get into fights with strange women in bars. So, you're unworthy, or just afraid. You see this sword? I've run it through hundreds of men, most bigger than you. So how about you go on home? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. I thought you would be strong. So yeah, Ilawit does a lot less damage than Misfortune, but she has access to a, a mechanic that makes her unique is the tentacle things. If you've played League of Legends, you might know what, uh, what to think about this. She has a few abilities to summon tentacles, like you can see now I have two. And the more I have, the more better my ability, certain abilities hits or heals. You see it's per tentacles. So the goal here is to generate as much tentacles I, as I can. Here I have four, it's actually really good. And then spend them on better abilities, I'd say. Like this one. It was overkill, but you've seen the, you've seen the point. Another dead fool. I can actually white one shot him now with with this one. With four tentacles. Oh, it's, it's not a one shot. But... Oh, Skeo counter attack me. Is that a bug? Maybe. Right, level two. When we gain a new ability, which is probably the one I will use the. Like the the less Is that all you have? I was just kit. starting to enjoy myself. The blood harbor Ripper. Tell me. No one I know has actually seen him. Rumor is he stalks the alleys around the Warrens. They say he ain't alive. Not really. Not alive. He is skinned like a corpse. 
Even his eyes are empty, like a body pulled up from the sea. A creature trapped between life and death. An affront to the goddess. He, uh, has a thing for captains. Find a captain and the Ripper won't be far behind, they say. Thank you, little man. Hey, you, uh, want to stay a while? I never drank with a priestess before. <laughs> you break too easily. All right. I don't think we have much to do in this bar y uh, yet. We, we can't really access anything there, so let's just find this uh, Blood Harbor Reaper. We had commotion. My new Peilangi friends simply wish to learn Buru tradition. Let us search the warrens nearby. And I, I said earlier that the intro was over, but actually it's kind of the intro, like the, the second part of the intro, because you can't leave this, the, this part of the city, you can't really um, do side quests or anything. And uh, for now you have two... Um, like allies but they're not really like part of the story or anything it's just yeah you can't you can't leave the area so let's just finish the the, the, the intro that this time for good and uh, you actually here you actually want to save because this is um, the first uh, time we are going to have some difficulties if we, if we want to do this right so we have a bunch of enemies here and the best way to actually uh, level up in this game is to make links so see if this if, if, if I fight this guy I just have one fight but if I fight these two guys together they have a chains uh, above their head so my goal here is to make the the links between fights as big as possible to gain as, as much XP as possible. But in Heroic and in, in um, and if, if you get in the fight like I just did, don't worry, you can just flee. It can take a few attempts, but you just flee, and they will be there standing. Yeah, you just aggro them back, and they'll follow you like that. And everything is, is good. You, you want to wait for them to be uh, to be close and up oh, let's go all right and we have a few more yep and all right maybe maybe i'm too far of the oh no okay no, it's, it's good. so this is the first real difficulty of the game uh if we want to fight all these chains battle uh, it's actually quite difficult the goal here is to understand what they do this one will do, will poison you and this one will hit like a truck and this one has less hp so we want to take the poison guy first and our two allies uh, don't have much HP, so we have to watch out for them because if they die too soon, it's actually quite bad for us. And we don't want to, for these fights, we don't want to spend too much mana on the first ones because we're gonna need it, so we want to generate overcharge first. Yeah, see, they do crazy damage. I, I said poison, but I wanted to, I, I meant bleed, like you see. So we can actually cleanse the, the bleed effect, but one effect is not too hard, so we'll just defend now. And uh, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, see, now I'm getting stacks of bleed, and that's what's going to matter the most. So, yeah, that. And she's going to heal. I got like here. Um, yeah. Not my first going to fight. use his overcharge to do this. Yeah. 
So what you want is before finishing this guy, you want to be healthy and use Hilary um, for charge. So they are going to defend with the two guys. And Hilary is going to heal them so they can be healthy for what's coming. I could, I could have healed one more turn, but this should be okay. Maybe not. Alright. Let's go. <coughs> I'm playing with fire here. Uh, maybe I'll use the... Alright, every, everyone lost a bit of life, so we're going to use a blue potion. Really, don't, don't be too, like, uh, don't, don't be afraid to waste potions, it's really fine in the game. And it's, it's better to actually succeed in this fight than to just keep your potions and struggle. I'm, I'm actually lucky they're, they're hitting Ilari instead of the squishy guys. I, I have overcharge, I have three tentacles. I can try to one tap this guy. Yeah, it should be, it should be dead. Yep. Alright, now it's going to be a bit harder. And same as before, we want to kill the squishy guys uh, that applies the bleed because it, it's actually the most annoying thing. Yeah, she, she might die here. Alright, she didn't. That's good. That's good. If you're struggling because I I will tell you the truth, I died quite a lot trying to do this uh, the, the thing here. You can try to mostly heal with Ilaoi and with the two guys trying to beat them up. Uh, it takes some time, but it's actually quite safe, I'd say. Your, your goal is also is not to keep them alive until the end. like. Maybe one more fight, and I don't really care about <laughs> if they die uh, after one one more fight. But yeah, Ilao, it can't chain all the fights by by herself. Yeah, it won't work. Let's play safe here. You need I can kill him with this, I think. Yep, I can kill him with this. Now, oh, before, before his turn. Alright, we're alive. That's good. 
And now I'll take some time to uh, actually heal my guys before the last two fights. So I'll generate a bit more overcharge and then fill them up. shape for the last two battles. Same same pattern here, we want to kill the, the guy who applied the bleed, this one. And actually this is dangerous because they will have two turns so I will defend the third. I have a lot of tentacles so maybe I'm able, I will be able to... Can I watch it? No, I don't. Alright, let's try. I want to keep her alive because she can uh, cure, cleanse the bleed and Eloy cannot. So we are actually pretty good here. Let's play safe. So we could have fight these guys um, one by one, but you, you, you'll see at the end of the fight how much XP it gets. It's actually crazy. You're, you're, I'm going to gain probably like three levels at one, in one time. Applied leads and they have big attack, they can deal a lot of damage. Right. Goddess is light. Alright, um, she will be able 
want to. I want to keep her a bit alive. I think. Your friend don't look so good. So she can cure the bleeds of the flower. Yep. Then maybe Hilary will be able to beat them. Hello? Let's see. Not everyone is Actually, not a good place. No, it should be enough. Maybe my tentacles will be, would have killed him, but just play safe. I don't want to die now. Help me up so I can keep fighting. Actually, this is risky. One HP. Oh man. <laughs> One HP. Not, not good. Not good. Not good. All right. So this is why we saved, right? So I'm going to do all of this as you just said, as you just see, saw, and um, I'm going to skip skip it. So you, yeah, you don't have to see all that again. So see you in a bit. Alright, guys, it worked this time. Magnificent. It was close, it was close. So, yeah, we won a lot of levels, and this is all because of the bonus XP. XP we, we got big because of the chains uh, of fights we did. So we learned a new ability, taught, that's gonna be useful. And we actually can put points now. So let's see, what choice do we have? Um, spawn chance 200%, it's, it's, it's good, it's good. Um, this is good too. Not right now. I think I'll do this and 
this. Actually, the, the main thing with uh, Ilaoi right now is we want to have the most tentacles as soon as possible to be able to dish out damage. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier is to absolutely, absolutely get the, sh the shrine on the way to fight all these enemies at once. So the shrine is uh, right there. Uh, let me let me show you. It puts uh, healing buffs that you can get um, during the fight if you position well on the lanes. Yeah, this this is here. Let's see. Did I get everything? Yes, I did. All right. So here we have three chests and wild lore that we can get before the before the fight. And here we have one more lore and one more chest. So make sure you check everything. Alright, now we can save and actually finish what we are calling the intro now. So we will rest. Oh, and by the way, if you want to get more and more levels, you can just rest and go out and all the monsters will respawn. We won't do that yet because it's actually not really effective as we... Oh, they, they didn't. My bad. Usually resting will make respawn the, the, the monsters respawn, but... Oh yeah, they did. Right here, yeah, there. But it's actually not really effective to do that because they're level one, and I'm level five now, so I won't gain as much XP as I did before. So let's see. Uh, yeah, we have. All right, cool. So if you manage to do what I did in one or two try, it's actually so effective. If you so don't, if you struggle too much, maybe but just soon, Captain, get it in half and fight three and then something like that. And you won't feel a thing ever again. What list? I've never seen you before in my life. I'm not even a captain anymore. I haven't sailed in years. Please. Abomination. Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare. Mm. Killing you would be fun. But meaningless. No. Forsaken one, do you think I am offering you a choice? Nice. So this is a kind of a boss, I guess. Oh, and by the way, you, you can't do anything about that. He's That's just one-shotting one of your mates uh, as soon as it starts. So the goal here is to keep one alive to cleanse the debuff, so we can use Don't. And the rest of the time, you will just want to generate as much tentacle as possible to spend them, as we've seen before. And actually, in level 5, with all we did, it's actually a lot easier than the fight we did before. Now we can fence. Let me show you how to as soon as you have enough of a charge to sustain the battle, you can just dance for it. So 
Oh, this battle is a lot easier than what we did before. Nice, level 6. And we gain a bunch of skills, level 2 and upgrades. So, great, great start. Now face the test of the Mother Serpent. You will not survive her judgment. So I, uh, what did you do to me? This cannot be. You are found worthy, but you are a monster. Goddess, what are you trying to show me? The Shadow Isles. Thank A great test. Truth bearer. Goddess, help me understand. Now we have a bunch of cutscenes, and this will be the, the end of intro. And Probably the end of the today's video. Him. In fact, I do not understand. But you must. You are the truth better. The mother serpent's will flows through you. Perhaps you need rest. I need no such thing. Return to the village. I will join you soon. So yeah, now we have a Fedi Laoi and everyone knows how annoying that can be <laughs> when Ilao is getting fed. Truth bearer. Welcome. Elder. I seek guidance. Speak, child. Tell me what troubles you. I sought to purge Bilgewater of a great threat. An enemy whose shadow spreads fear and stagnation in the streets. Yes, such is your charge, and you do it well. But this Blood Harbor Ripper, I tested him, and the goddess found him worthy. Curious, indeed. It makes no sense. He is no living man, and the unliving are shameful to our goddess. How could he possibly pass her test? I have worked so hard to interpret her will, but this seems wrong. I should not doubt the goddess, but now I worry I have lost my way. My child, the Mother Serpent's will flows through all things. Only when we follow our desire does the universe flow towards destiny. Open yourself up to all possibilities, and let the path present itself. But... have I misjudged her will? If this monster is worthy, have I been wrong about others? If I gave the goddess's blessing to those who did not deserve it, that would be blasphemy. Perhaps I should renounce my position as truth-bearer. Lowry. I will not entertain such nonsense. I have taught you in the ways of Nagakaburo since you were a child. You are strong, and the goddess's will flows through you. Trust your judgment. But what if I'm wrong? The vision I saw, the black mist consuming everything. Something terrible is coming, and I cannot afford uncertainty. The goddess sent me a vision, but... I still need more. I need her guidance. Only the goddess knows what destiny awaits. It is not my place to instruct you. You must find your own path. The stakes for Bilgewater are too high. I need to be certain in my course of action, yet I have so many questions. Then ask them. It is in seeking these answers that you alone find truth where others cannot. But you must also 
Find patience. Truth bearer. Elder, I... Yes. Patience. I will reflect on what has passed, and hope a path presents itself. Priestess! Ori! There's something you must see. That is quite a man. This is Elawi. She's our champion. Our truth bearer. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom of the Freljord. The Freljord? You've traveled far. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more of your story. A great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has claimed the lives of many children. It's really you? Yes. And look, I have brought a friend. Now, be brave. I take good care of him until I return. Huh? I will. Rest now. Brom will find a cure for this. You have my word. Brom, you promised the impossible. Your heart is pure. The sickness is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me, what must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Brom, that place was destroyed by the Black Mist. Shadow Isles, they call it now. Dangerous, even for you. Who knows if that water even exists? Sometimes, a story is just a story. Rob will return with this blessed water. Then, think of the stories they will tell, huh? <laughs> You fought the Black Mist. Are you sure? Yes, and I will happily do so again. Uh, once I find a bigger boat. In the battle with the Mist, my shield was lost. It is very valuable to me. I will do whatever I must to recover it. Elawi, we come with a message from Captain Fortune. We ain't looking for a fight. Well, what is the message? She requests an audience. She says... Well, she says the Black Mist has returned. What? The Black Mist? It has returned! Thank you, Bram. She'll be expecting you. Come with us. I know the way. My friend, it seems fate has brought us together. This is not your fight. As Truthbearer, it is my sworn duty to push back the mist. Yet, your arrival here is no coincidence. This much I know. Perhaps it is the sign I was looking for. By helping you face the mist, 
I may learn more of the cure I seek, and repay your people's kindness. Your desire is strong. I will not stop you. Let us see what Sarah Fortune knows. Alright guys, so this is officially the end of part one with good guy Brom joining the party and yeah he's, so he's actually really really tanky and he can deal damage as well as inflict some debuffs and stuns so it's actually quite good but well for now part one is over and uh, for next time we will have to explore the city because it's quite open now uh, and we have a lot of uh, side quests that are available right as we speak so this is what we will focus on next time so guys thank you so much for following this video please uh, drop a like if you enjoy the content and make sure you follow the channel to actually see part two when it's coming up probably tomorrow so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time